Example five and example three are very closely related. So I'm gonna show you example three real quick and I want you to pause the video here and attempt to do example five, just like I did with example number three. So here's example number three. We did that on a, another video. It was one over X. And so I had to rewrite the one over X as X to the power of negative one, then find the first and second derivative. So mimic those steps in order to be able to do example number five with the two divided by X to the power of three. So rewrite it and then find the first and the second derivative. And I'll give you the answer in a few seconds. Take a moment to pause the video here, please. So maybe you were able to rewrite the first expression, the two X to the power of three becomes two X to the power of negative three when the X is moved to the numerator. And once you do that, you're basically ready to find the first and the second derivative. So for the first derivative, we bring the negative three down towards the two, two times negative three is going to be negative six. Then we subtract one from the exponent. So it's already negative three and we're gonna subtract one and the total there is going to be negative four. And if you want, you can stop right here, or if you want, you can continue and write it down a little bit more conveniently with the positive exponent on the denominator. Now, I personally don't wanna do that for this problem. I would like to leave it as negative six times x to the power of negative four, because when I find a second derivative, that's going to be a little bit more useful. So at this point in time, I'm gonna bring the negative four times the negative six, that's gonna make it positive 24. And then again, take away one from the exponent to find the second derivative. So together that's gonna be 24 x to the power of negative five, and I could just circle that and just call it a day. Or if you want to, you can write it a little bit more conveniently as 24 divided by x to the power of five with a positive exponent. So regardless of how you do it, it's the same either way.